This is a sweet speaks. Hi. Uh, today has been a pretty dramatic day here in Scandinavia, both in Sweden and in Denmark. So let's get right to that. Uh, in Vorbygård, south of Stockholm, there was an explosion at the metro station. And uh, two persons were wounded by the explosion. Uh, and uh, they were both brought, brought to hospital. And one of them, uh, there was one woman and one man. The woman was 45 and the man was about 60 years old. And the man later died from his wounds. Uh, what the police thinks happened is that uh, the man picked up a hand grenade that was lying visibly at the metro station. And then he took his cycle and started cycling and it exploded. That's their theory. Uh, and uh, in Denmark, in the small town of Nestved, uh, on the island of Sealand, which is the same island as most of Copenhagen is located on, uh, there was a shooting in this small town and a man in his 20s uh, was shot in both legs. Uh, this man is uh, earlier known to the police according to well, the article I read and so far the police don't know why or who did this but the man is his life is not at risk according to to, to the article. Uh, but this is an interesting fact. Well, an interesting... I mean it's terrible but it's interesting because the Scandinavian countries are considered to be among or have historically I mean, in recent history, they have been considered to be among the safest countries in the world, and nothing bad happens around here. But now we are seeing gang violence and hand grenades. Hand grenades is a big thing in Sweden, because you can actually import hand grenades legally to Sweden without a permit. And that's really absurd, but that's the way it is. At the same time, as, uh, as law-abiding law citizens are not allowed to arm themselves. So that's crazy. And I'm not sure about Danish gun laws, but I think they're prob they are probably like the Swedish ones, but I don't know that. So don't quote me on that one. But anyway, th these are some of the things that happened, just to both of these things happened today. Uh, the episode uh, in Stockholm or in Vorbygård was around 11 a.m. And uh, the episode in Denmark, uh, well it was reported to the police at 1.30 p.m., something like that. Uh, so, this is a scary, scary thing that, that's happening. Uh, and I really hope that, uh, that both the Danes and the Swedes uh, will do any, everything they can to, to stop this, uh, this development. Because this is not the, th the way things are supposed to be in Scandinavia, or anywhere for that matter. But as you can see, there's been a violent day in Scandinavia. Uh, and that's really all I have to say about that right now. Uh, I would like to thank everyone who supports this channel or supports my work. That's greatly appreciated and thank you very much. It is now this channel's second year or well on no on January 17 I will uh, uh, this channel will be one year old or one year old but you could argue that I'm now in my second year doing videos since it's a new year. Uh, so so that's interesting. So let's see what will happen this year. I have some things coming up uh, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. I hope. I'm working on the details. So hopefully there will come a few interesting videos soon. Uh, and uh, if you like what I do, if you think what I do is important, uh, well, you could send me a dollar or two or ten. As I said, that's greatly appreciated. Uh, so, until next time, have a nice day. God bless.